the towering sun temples that could power the largest metropolis, and the kites that could pull gigantic ships. They're factories that clean up our messes, the cars that run on air, the smart switches, air conditioners made out of ice, and the rooftop turbines that capture the wind. What you might call a modern marvel. Hey, that's a good idea for a TV show. Now, just in time to save the planet, Environmental Tech 2 on Modern Marvels. What if you put your hands on it? That's what you can do with another green choice that's available for the home. It's a real killer called the green switch, and it's after the vampires in your house that are robbing you blind. There's vampire power that's actually uh, sucking energy from your home when you don't even actually have appliances on. In the off mode, they're still drawing power. Walk around your home at night and look at all the little red lights that are flashing. You'll be amazed. And it's one way to discover how many of the appliances are actually sucking energy and money out of your wallet every single day. According to the Department of Energy, those little red lights represent between 10 and 15 percent of all the energy used in an average household. And they just sit there taunting us. This is a typical home office environment. Maybe you have a printer, internet modems, stereo or an iPod. If you look here at the monitor, it's using 19.2 watts, all this equipment in standby mode, so you're completely wasting energy. It is not good for the environment and it's definitely not good for your wallet. And let's not forget the most powerful vampire of all, the home entertainment unit. As you can see, all of this equipment is on. This is the standard stuff that you would have in your home, DVD player, cable box, and television. It's drawing about 100 watts. If I turn them off, that number will drop down to about 26 watts. So even in the off mode, you're still drawing 26 watts or 25% of the normal power it would take. In the home, it's just a matter of deciding which vampires you want to kill. After you've identified the bad guys, the first step is to install a green switch slave receptacle to the outlet. This is our slave receptacle. Once you've established where you want to put this in your house, the installation is very simple. This is the antenna. This receives the signal for the master switch. It tells this unit whether to turn on or shut off. Receptacles can be wired to as many outlets as you choose, as well as your air conditioning thermostat. Then, once the receptacles are installed, they lay in wait for a signal from their master switch. And we're at the front door of the residence. We've already gone through and, and replaced all the other switches and receptacles that are going to communicate with this green switch. I've removed the existing electrical from this box here, replaced it with a new toggle, and, and our green switch. It all wires into the existing electrical. It's a very easy installation. Now flip the switch, and all those energy-sucking vampires are put to rest. Money is saved, and the environment receives less pollutants.